hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Kenna and <laughs> you're in for another hot topic today so today is sex day and guys it's been a while since i did any of these sex videos so i just decided to do something really fun i went on my social media i did not go on instagram and facebook just because guys we have a lot of crazy people out there i do not want people writing crazy things to me so i went to my whatsapp and i just asked a question tell me what turns you off be it guys or girls just tell me what turns you off in bed and guys it is the responses for me it got me laughing and i'm like oh my god i cannot wait to share this with you so if you're interested to see what turns guys off in the bedroom just keep watching okay guys so this video is going to be in two parts part one it's definitely for the guys and part two will be for the girls what i want to first of all tell you right here is this after everybody had given me what turns them on and uh, turns them off sorry i just decided to look at it and then i took those that were most said right so please don't come and watch this video and you're like oh if majority of the guys said this 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 it means that my my partner's own thing that turns him off is it mm -mm don't do that i always say it is best for you to communicate with your partner talk to your partner so that your partner can actually tell you oh i don't like this i like this it's easier that way don't look at these things and then you assume that oh it means that uh, my husband's face used to be like this when we're doing the do so it means that this thing turns him off or that thing turns him off no 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 it's just going to confuse things these are the common things that turn men off but if you are not sure of what turns your husband off you or, or your partner off you want to go ahead and ask him that said because that's really important yes that said guys <laughs> let's go straight and let me start reading so i'll be reading from my phone as usual let's do this okay so body odor mouth odor bad smell that is the first one body odor mouth odor bad bad smells see guys first of all we know that doing the do is already has one one smell right we know that it has its own unique smell so imagine you now going with your bad breath your body odor your mm -mm -mm, to go and join it inside that smell guys it's going to turn even me off like what what are some of us thinking i always say sometimes if you're really sweating or you're stinky and you know very well that your partner is one of those people who is big on smells and things like that my dear sister take a bath before doing anything smell fresh before doing anything don't go and be smelling like dry fish hot pork when you're doing the do the guy because it turns them okay. off another okay. person said hairy armpits big bellies and off the light baby <laughs> Hairy ampy guys for me I feel like sometimes men can even get away with a little hairy ampit. But when it comes to women, I don't get it at all. Like mm -mm. I know that God put hair in some places for some reasons, but oh, that that thing it used to make me feel really uncomfortable. Like, oh my god, what are you doing? Why? Why? Why do you look like that? Why do you have that much hair under there? You just want to clean it, even if you're not cutting everything off try to trim it and always wash it the one that's really annoying is the one that is turning brown because you haven't been washing it well Ew! no 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 i don't want to think about that but yeah so hairy armpits no 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 i've said it in my how to keep a sexy health um, what do i always say that about this video how to keep a healthy sex life i said one of those things that is really important is ensure that you clean up real nice hygiene is really important for sex guys hygiene is really important this person went ahead and said big belly and i have a problem with that because if you're saying big belly okay i know some guys are attracted to all oh, skin girl this flat tummy but what if you get married to this person and then she starts having children we all know that women's bodies change or even if their bodies do not it's not about having babies there's some 
ladies I know who have hormonal issues, they start getting fat and things like that. So it means you will not be turned on by her anymore because of big belly. I don't think so. And then off the light, baby. I feel like it's just you know those girls when you want to have sex with them and they're like, baby, please put off the light. I'm shy. I'm shy. Hmm. For some guys, it's a turn off because they want to see your face, they want to engage, they want to see all the faces you're making, but some people are shy. So, apparently, that is a turn off. Okay, the next one is you know that sound like say she gas while hitting doggy, it kills me. <laughs> I think that is the VJJ fart. There's this sound, it makes one. <laughs> I'm not, I can't believe I'm trying to do that, but it makes one sound. And for me, I'm like that is nature it's not like it's the girl that's actually doing it so i'm like why should that really uh, anyway different things turn people off but i feel like sex is supposed to be that thing that is really engaging so that even if that's a turn off for you it's not something that she can help it's not like it's something that she's doing intentional so you have to just block your mind from it basically or maybe be shouting while you're doing it like yeah baby don't it don't so when the sound is coming you're not here let me know if <laughs> That Next works. one is okay. just lie there like a lock of wood. Just lie there like a lock of wood. A lot of guys have this to say. Like a lot of guys were like they really really hate it when they are doing with you and you're just lying there. A lot of us women feel like, oh, sex is to please the man. So let me just what the main thing is that my thing thing is there. He can use it as he wants. He can turn me, flip me, do this, do this, do this, and you're not engaging. Some guys really find it boring so a lot of guys who wrote to me were just like they really hate when women are in the act and they're not doing anything they're just lying there like a corpse it's really really a turn off so and see if you're one of those women who just lies down there and you're not engaging you're not moving you're not trying to please him while trying to please you up your game guys don't like that the next always saying harder 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 why you know just use your toy one time <laughs> For me, this harder, harder thing, I feel like the harder, 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 this thing for me, I feel, I've always felt like it's a joke. I don't believe that some girls really scream at guys to hit harder because what I know is that girls are more sensual, especially when it comes to do the do. So yes, once in a while we might want to be hit hard, but it's shocking to see that some girls will really be doing that a whole lot. Okay, the next one is... I forgot this okay still the same person I forgot this one shining your eyes and looking at me while we are kissing and doing for me first of all I just feel like it's a vampire you are a vampire if you are kissing and you are eyes open like no it just kills the romance like why are you opening your eyes close your eyes we're not supposed to see but when this person talks about closing your eyes when doing the do for me i feel like it just depends on people and what they like that's why i always say it's good to have discussions when you before you want to have sex to just understand don't judge the person by their actions during the time when they are doing the thing because i know some people who will tell you that what really turns them on is looking into their partner's eyes feeling their every glance like looking deep <laughs> look at me now i'm looking <laughs> looking like basically looking deep in their partner's eyes it's more intense for them while some other people are apparently saying that why, why are you looking in their eyes they are hitting you why are you looking in their eyes like hey hey where are you going so that's why i'll tell you that communication is really important you want to talk about it with your partner what turns you on do you prefer eyes shut or eyes closed like just have the discussion so that you both understand if you're doing your partner and your partner is looking at you and you close your eyes and you open by mistakely and you see it it's not going to be like oh my god why is she looking at me like why she are more of okay that's her thing she likes looking into my soul while we're doing it next one is okay heavy makeup apparently guys in uh, apparently a lot of guys seem to feel that too much makeup is a turn off a lot of guys said too much makeup is a turn off like, let me not say feel that so i have had so many guys who complain about makeup makeup oh my god makeup especially those ones that will pick you somewhere they don't know how you look and they come and they take it off and they <laughs> but yeah a lot of guys were just like too much makeup is a turn off like they're scared of what is behind there like as they're making up with you they're just like oh my god what is behind there is it a monster how does she look oh my god oh my god so maybe we want to cut down on our makeup try to be natural sometimes because apparently too much makeup turns to 
turn the next one is she isn't open to experimenting a lot like see this one eh, it's almost like lying like a log of wood she isn't open to experimenting a lot of people want to spice up their sex life guys like to spice up their sex lives so they would they might bring you different ideas let's try this idea. like god forbid not me jesus which type of thing is that how can you say this to me ha ah, no never i feel like when it comes to your partner especially if it's the man you're married to please experiment if you want to tell if he wants to turn you like a wheelbarrow turn him. if you want anything he wants to do give it to him because you don't want him going to try to experiment somewhere else because if my partner comes today and he's like can i let's experiment this the first thing that comes to my mind is okay so what if i reject this experiment and it's something that you're really into you definitely are going to go and try to experiment somewhere else no uncle come come I am not an amoy but we're going to do this we're going to try everything i will turn my leg even though i am old i will try to put my leg like this let us try it and then maybe it doesn't work then i was like okay no babe hey, mm -mm -mm. this one you see this one he passed me okay let's do something else you get so i feel like it's really important for us to be open to new things open to try new things because a lot of women a lot of us are so close when it comes to experimenting a lot of women not to talk about some people and their beliefs in church i watched this video some time ago where the guy was saying oh doggy style is evil the real style to have sex is opening your legs and the man just climbs on you and i was like um maybe i don't know the bible that well but is there any part of the bible that said this is the style that you have to use to have sex like i don't even want to go into that argument but that what i'm just saying here is it is nice to experiment with your partner because like i said in one of my other videos boredom is a huge problem in relationships in marriage so sometimes just doing the same things over and over and over there are some people that will tell you oh i have sex only on the bed that's when they have sex they cannot have sex on the floor they cannot have sex on the chair on the table anywhere no sex is meant to be on the bed so you want to be more open experiment experiment with your better half okay if you're not experimenting with them who and then last but not least she pretends to enjoy it yeah women this is our specialty a lot of us will pretend to enjoy it and if you have a guy that is smart the guy will definitely figure it out if you have a guy who knows your body that guy is going to figure out it's true that we have some guys that are completely look clueless where you're screaming you're shouting Woo, yes and you're not feeling anything and the guy actually feels like i'm the boss i am doing i am doing it i don't do them. i don't kill him okay so <laughs> oh my god there you have it guys those are the things that turn off guys if you're a guy and you're watching this and you maybe have different things that turn you off that i did not mention here kindly come and add it in the comment section let's talk women women can you relate to any of these things i know we don't like to embarrass ourselves like that but can you relate to any of these things are they some of these things that they have said i have said that you are actually guilty of and are you willing to do better like i told you guys in the beginning guys you want to rather than watch videos like this and assume i'll urge you to talk to your partner talk about sex with your partner what they like what they don't like what turns them on what turns them off so that your sex life is going to be better don't come and watch a video like this and start assuming and trying to read your husband's mind or read people's mind saying oh he did this so it was like this he did that so it was like that anyway guys thank you very much for watching today's video and kenna is going to see you on her next one love you guys